dish is located in the center of the Barnett Shale and uh, I moved there in 2003. I actually grew up in Oklahoma in the middle of an oil field and so when I was growing up there were oil and gas activities around where I grew up so I wasn't unaccustomed to that and so why does that matter? Well one thing that I hear over and over again is that the people aren't, aren't used to it. That's why you object to this, is you, you're just not used to it. So once you get used to it, you'll be okay with it. And so I don't know if you could get much more used to it than, than I was. Um, I didn't have any concerns about it when I moved to DISH, and I knew that there was some activity going on. And so DISH is located about 25 miles north of downtown Fort Worth. And it's right in, like I said, the heart of the Barnett Shale. So it was kind of the edge of the urban sprawl. And so we became a pretty, pretty popular route for pipelines that were transporting all, all of the gas out of the Barnett Shale. Because you have a well, and that well is going to have a line that's called a gathering line that feeds into a main line that's called the transmission line. And so there's a dozen transmission lines that touches dishes borders at some point or another. So to accommodate that, we, uh, we have a natural gas compression station. Compressors pressurize the gas in the lines to move it. And so as the site kept growing and growing and growing, it went from you know being uh, a little bit obtrusive to being you know a, a very big problem and as it continued to grow it started to stink it started to smell um, so it's loud and it smells and it's ugly and so I have the pictures to validate all that <coughs> so I complained to anybody that would listen to me after a long time of complaining several months about this odor they did a study and they were going to find the source of the odor mm -hmm. and so their idea of a study is they stuck a, a methane detector in the back of a little SUV and they drove around for a couple of hours and so after that we decided to do our study and we did a comprehensive study and there's a couple of copies of it over here and we found a, a much different uh, scenario because we tested for things like benzene and ethyl benzene and xylene and carbon disulfide and all of these different carcinogens and neurotoxins and we found them and we found some of them at some pretty pretty high levels and so they did their own testing that this is a state test and some of the findings that they have in here are much 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 worse than what we found that's not highly publicized and you have to dig through 300 and some pages to find it but that's the reality and I can show you the lab results in here that validate that so in dish I think we found 78 parts per billion of benzene they found 15,000 parts per benzene <laughs> yeah. per, per billion of benzene and so so <coughs> So it was much worse than even what we had. And so, not to be outdone, the oil and gas industry themselves actually funded a study in Fort Worth and Arlington. And in this study, they found one of the highest levels of formaldehyde ever detected in the United States. It was comparable to what is in the Houston Ship Channel, which is the worst polluted air in the world, I think. And I think there's only been a few places around the world where they've detected th that high level of formaldehyde, which is recently added to the carcinogen list. Mm -hmm. so, and speaking of the safe levels, you know, the safe levels are based on me. Mm -hmm. They're based on a 35-year-old, I'm a little older right now, but 35-year-old <laughs> um, male who's exposed in an occupational setting. Mm. They're not based on children. They're fifty pound white. They're not based on elderly. <laughs> They're not based on those who are much more susceptible. Mm. So how much is it gonna take for you to get cancer? For your kids to get cancer? Or 
you to have a birth defect or you know so on and so forth what's a number for you because it's gonna be different for me different for him so what's a number for you